Hi, everybody. Good to have you with us on a beautiful Monday. Mm. Welcome to Ozarks Live. Tom is out all week long, so I get to hang out with Cammie. He tagged me in the game. Here I, I am. Know. I love it. How was your weekend? It was full of family time, swimming at the river and pools, and we had a wonderful time. I was worn out yesterday. I know. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> what did you do? Uh, you know, my family and I, we ended up down at Big Cedar Lodge again, as oh, good. we tend to do. Mm -hmm. um, we love it down there. They have a beautiful fireworks display. Mm -hmm. So we just kind of hung out by the pool. We had some fun. You know, we ate a lot, as you do. Yes. Um, played a little bit of tennis. Uh, down there at Paradise Point, and then I came home and played tennis and was reminded that, you know, the old shoulder sometimes pays the price. I have an you're... answer for you. Do pickleball. You? Have you played pickleball? I so, have. Yeah, I, I just discovered it recently, and I used to play tennis, but uh -huh. it's like, I feel like it's kind of like tennis for people over 40. <laughs> well, you know, you know like, I, this is much better. <laughs> Paradise Point has a nice court for pickleball and tennis, okay. and there were some people on the court playing pickleball. It's complicated to keep score with pickleball. Because um, it's kind of like volleyball in that if you, you can only score if you're serving. If you're right? serving or, yeah, and they, you, well, the, the, the rules changed on yeah. volleyball, but it's, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's an unusual scoring. Now, I did do that one day yeah. over at Dan Kinney. I went and played with some people playing there, and that was, that was fun. But I'm still learning the rules. We have a friend that's really good, so I just yeah. let him tell me who's serving and what yeah. the score is. You Once know? you learn, I think yeah. you're good. But yeah, the, the old shoulder, ooh, boy, you know, I'm not as young as I used to be. Um, <laughs> by the way, sad news. Uh, I hate to share sad news right back after a holiday, but if you didn't know already, um, Charlie Daniels passed away. Mm. The singer-songwriter, uh, Charlie Daniels passed away today. I believe he was 83 years old, apparently suffered a stroke, um, died oh, this no. morning in Hermitage, Tennessee. And I know a lot of people will be sad to hear that. He was just playing one of those sort of quarantine type online concerts back earlier this month with uh -huh. a lot of other artists. And yeah. last time I saw him, he was here with Dennis Quaid and the Sharks were in town down at the Welk Theater. And Charlie okay. Daniels was there as well. So oh, good. Yeah. Good. Yeah, so that's kind of sad news to yeah, see. It is. Yeah. So anyway, I just thought I would let you know that if you hadn't heard already. Mm -hmm. So um, we have so much to get to on this mm -hmm. Monday to start off an absolutely beautiful week. If this isn't beautiful enough, today is National Fried Chicken Day. I can smell it in the air, literally. I, yes, yep, you mm -hmm. bet. Uh, our friends from Pizza Ranch will be stopping by to help us celebrate Yes, I know it's Pizza Ranch, but they are also known for their fried chicken. Absolutely. Can't wait to try it. Yes, plus I brought in a few recipes for us to try out today, too. Yeah, and she's really good in the kitchen. You know that. Mm -hmm. And we get to hear a musical performance from our dear friend Jake Simpson. I'll give you a hint. He is channeling his inner Michael Jackson today. Yes, and yeah. not to mention we have a lot of updates from our friends at Entertainment Tonight on what's making headlines in the world of entertainment. Yep, but before we get to all of it, we're going to show you what is on our radar. All right. I've got something interesting on my radar. Now, during the pandemic, people have been searching for ways to keep busy, stay distance from other people, but still get out and move around a little bit. And some people are getting back to their old childhood activities like roller skating. Do you like to roller skate? I do. I love to. I love it. Well, yeah. but they're roller skating to the tune of you can't find any roller oh, no. skates. Yeah, apparently not. All right. According to an article in Vogue magazine. There is a worldwide shortage uh, of roller skates. I know. Part of the popularity is these TikTok videos mm. people are posting. Yes. Making the rest of us want to get out and <laughs> skate again in a rink or on the street or wherever. Now, I personally have not gone out in search of roller skates, but the Vogue editors swear that they couldn't find any or mm. very few at least. Now, one company that makes these cute little retro skates, Moxie Skates, uh, they offer all sorts of skates. They say they're seeing last year's annual sales in one month. Wow. I'm month sure month. that's partly because of COVID too, right? Everybody's yeah. just out and about and then TikTok blew up because of that. And yeah. Everybody's enjoying seeing that. And, you know, I, oh, here's one of those videos. But these people oh. are posting these videos. A lot of them mm -hmm. are out in their masks. And they're just having a grand old time. <laughs> yeah. And it makes you jealous. Everybody's <laughs> dancing so well and skating and... I mean, look at that. She's got some moves. Now, Mono see, she, she's better. I wonder if she could play tennis and do that at the same time she is on a court. <laughs> now, that's another good use for a tennis court right there. there I would enjoy go. that. There you go. But these people are going out and having fun. And, you know, I prefer the old four-wheeled roller skates uh -huh. over roller blades. I've never mm -hmm. 
really attempted rollerblades, but I can't ice skate. So what would make me think I could rollerblade? Yeah, you know? I don't I don't like rollerblades. My boys got some, they have like three wheels, like one on the front and two on the back. And you use them kind of differently, but they are much easier for my little ones that when they were learning yeah. how to skate. Interesting. I didn't so, know they had such really a good. thing. Yeah. Okay, good okay, stuff. Well, so roller skating has seen this resurgence, but so has something else. Cabbage. Cabbage. According to the Huffington Post, cabbage usually surges around St. Patrick's Day, of course, but so did the pandemic. And people stayed with it and apparently just can't get enough. Maybe part of the reason is that it's healthful and it lasts a very, very long time in the fridge. Mm -hmm. It also is packed with vitamins and nutrients. One food writer calls cabbage your next vegetable crush because it intersects with comfort food and wellness and it's used in so many cuisines around the world. Oprah Winfrey even shared one of her giant homegrown cabbages on Instagram. Apparently sales and recipe searches are up at least 50% over the last year. Look at that cabbage. Oh, crazy. That is huge. I planted some of that in my garden. I was going to ask. And it never went into the, the head of cabbage it was supposed to. Really? It's just kind of it, Maybe I, it will. I mean, I don't know what the season is for that. I like, may I have missed the season. I don't to plant it. You know, I have no idea. I've never I did grown something that. Wrong. I but I do know that if you buy a head of cabbage, mm -hmm. it can sit in the fridge for a really long time before you know, like yes. a head of lettuce or something. A lot of yes. times, it doesn't last too long. The cabbage, yeah. Apparently, you're, people, you're absolutely right. Yeah, started buying mm -hmm. it and using it and saying this stuff is great. It's very versatile, you know. So anyway, cabbage is the next big thing. Who knew? Yeah. All right. Um, something I forgot to mention that I did over the weekend okay. at Big Cedar. Okay. Uh -huh. I got to take part in an Earth, Wind, and Fire concert. No way. Sort of. Oh, okay. Sort of. Okay. Now, the band hosted first, its first, rather, of several Saturdays concerts. It was a nationwide dance party. <sighs> Actually, it was a worldwide dance party. And if you look close, up in the top or left hand corner, there I am in all my there dancing you glory. Are. Oh, my gosh. It was so much fun. Huh. Uh, the guy in the hat is the DJ, D Nice. And if any of you were part of it, you may have seen me rocking out to September and Let's Groove oh. and Shining Star and all of the other favorites. So fun. Um, oh, my gosh. I loved it. Now, there's Verdeen White, the legendary bassist. The ba uh -huh. He's at literally the happiest guy in music. I oh. love watching him perform. He was there to play the bass. Philip was playing and, and, and Ralph Johnson. It was his birthday and he was also <laughs> part of the whole deal. So the band was there. They also made this a fundraiser with 100% of the profits benefiting charities to support social justice. And viewers mm. were loving it. They were Wonderful. leaving all sorts of comments. Now, the band says, I love dancing with the dog. The band <laughs> says they'll do it every weekend in July with a different guest DJ. Um, it's also simulcast on their YouTube channel with over a million subscribers. Also, their Facebook page. So you can join the virtual dance party in July. But to be part of the Zoom, you had to register which of course I did. Of course. So and they you, might ask you next time they go live. To well, come if you watch the it, you know, they may pop me up. Me yes. in my kitchen, maybe with one of my kids or both of them dancing around Earth, Wind & Fire. I mean, obviously it's my favorite band of all time. Oh yeah. God, oh, that was yeah. fun. That sounds like a blast. Yeah, it was a great yes. way to sort of break up the holiday weekend. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. love it. I love it. Well, coming up, it's time to celebrate National Fried Chicken Day. Yep, we are heading into the kitchen, so don't go away. Pizza Ranch is here, and Ozarks Live is just getting started.